Hi, my name is Ansel Duff for CS50 R&D, and today we're going to design some large steel letters that say CS50 as part of an art installation. So first we're going to CAD up the letters in a software program, then we're going to export those files to have them water cut out of steel, and then we'll assemble the steel by welding it together in our steel shop. So first let's go ahead and open up the file that we've received from our graphic designer. Today we're going to be using a program called SolidWorks. So now that we have our letters on screen, we can extrude them, which means take this uh, sketch of curves and lines and make it into a solid body. Add a couple layers in here. SolidWorks defaults to making them touching, but we need to set their distance offset to be exactly eight inches. SolidWorks registers it, we have no errors, and we are good to go. All right, so now that we've designed letters, it's time for us to go to the shop and fabricate them. We've sent our files off to the company that's going to water jet them. We'll pick those up in a couple days and we can weld them all together. I'm here today at the MIT Motorsports shop and now we're going to construct some big letters out of steel. Cool, so initially we'll just tack weld each of these in place in about three locations per tube and then once they're all tacked in place we can go around and lay a little bit of bead down. So a tack weld is just a weld at one point, uh, not for really any structural integrity, but it allows you to secure a piece before you fully weld it in. Now I'm just going to clean the tungsten a little bit and sharpen it, and then we'll be ready to full weld the bottom layer in, and then we can put the top layer on. So the base is the same uh, gauge as the actual sheets themselves. It's 13 gauge, which means it's about a tenth of an inch thick. That is not going anywhere. So, we now have this little stem in here that I just cut out of uh, one inch diameter tubing. Next, we'll resize the shelf from steel to create a platform. So now that our shelf is cut to length, we're gonna position it and make sure that it's level uh, on both dimensions and tack it in and then full weld it and this letter will be done. I don't always build massive steel letters, but when I do, I prefer CS50.